And it says, or the ca caption on it was, If you have ever seen a video of a panda morphing into a sofa, what you are looking at here is the exact middle frame. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, this is hilarious to the point where it nearly made, where I almost passed out from laughing one night. I like the first time I saw it, and almost as good as How's Your News, um, <laughs> which you know is the reason why if there is a hell, I'm going there. And I can never fully explain to anyone why it is so funny. Because I cannot explain to it, or explain how's your news. Well, actually, they had a show on MPT, but or MTV. But that wasn't nearly as funny as discovering them on the internet. Hmm. Like, well, let me get this straight. It's a bunch of people with heavy, heavy mental retardation singing about social media. All right. I'm going to hell. That and of course, well, I can't say anything. The guys from South Park actually funded it. Uh, funded it. Uh. The one uh, person from the show's a uh, show, Bobby Bird. His name was actually the level cheat slash invincibility cheat for the South Park video game for N sixty four, which was a pretty decent game. If you you know don't mind. Just not being able to play it anymore, or not being able to uh, accomplish anything after the point in which your friends get the damn gun that makes you stop doing anything and dance. <laughs> yeah. It'd make, you know, Cartman d start dancing and singing, like, from the alien bullshit in the first season. I don't watch South Park. I did, and. I'm just pointing I don't... that out because I'm not going to get yeah. any of the references. Fair enough. And I've noticed that, yeah, sugarcane isn't growing, so I think we're definitely going to have to set up a spawner. Well, you basically have one over there. Well, it needs a lot more work. You have as much of a sugarcane spawner over there as I do a redstone spawner on the other side. Fair enough. You just need, let me see, three per book. All right, so we need three per book, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Um, and On the other hand, if we just want to make sugar, for... we're, you know, pretty much set. Yeah. And sugar, sugar, do, 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 do. Oh, honey, honey. I wonder why there's two creeper spawners. That's a good question. I wonder if one's a charged creeper spawner. Well, no, that would look charged in the, uh, the, um, you know. The... Penis. Yeah. Ah, Okay. <laughs> that one is a little higher than I thought it was. Maybe I should build up a few steps. Eh. Oh, well, it's spawning now. It's just not spawning anywhere in my range. That's. Oh, that was dumb. That's good, isn't it? Well, yes. Why am I wasting materials? Goddamn brain. Alright, there we go. This is a good level to start building out at. Or at which to start building out at. Alright. Can. One night land on here. We only need four for start. We just need four to start enchanting. Yeah. And I'd like to, you know, get the enchanting table set up before I die and lose all this experience. Yeah, I've got almost 50 levels of experience. Yeah. If I would do more than like... just stand around and look at stuff, I probably would have more too. Yeah, I'd have to restart my client with Enchant View installed, though, because fuck that. Hmm, I'm not sure if I'm running Enchant View either. Uh, I don't, I know I had to take it out when I started up, but I don't think the server has it, but we're going to take a five minute break and we'll be back. Just not right now. Yeah. Alright, uh, I need, I'm just going to grab this cobble, fuck it. I'm so close, I can, you know... Taste the smell. Taste? Yeah, okay. I can smell the delicious uh, obsidian meat. Uh-huh. This iron thing, iron spawner I built, looks like a train wreck. It literally, well, it looks like a train hit it <laughs> and someone went just packed dirt in. <laughs> it's pretty awful. 
Yeah. I'm kind of proud of it. It's hideous. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Or there. Ah, uh, I like making hideous things. Well, that's good, because you're very successful at it. Yeah, well, I figure if I tried to make beautiful things, I would just be sad all the time. Yeah, probably. And that's why I will never, you know, like, biologically uh, breed. Just like your robot. Uh, that is actually coming out surprisingly well for something I've built. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm the first person to tell you when something I have made is a horrible error. Yes. Well, we haven't quite got to the point yet where it spontaneously combusts. Oh uh, yeah, that could happen. I mean, well, I'll tell you what. That's a possibility uh, with anything you build. I'll tell you what the most frustrating part for me was. Mm -hmm. I needed some cheap black spray paint in order to paint the inside of them, just so it would be shaded and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So. I went out and got, like, 99 cent spray paint from Lowe's. Uh -huh. Now, first of all, it's Lowe's, so I should have known that was a mistake. <laughs> um, but, alright, so I sanded down the outside of the thing I was going to paint. Very carefully, then washed it off, that way there was no debris on it. Wiped it down, primered it. Perfect. Nothing on it, no anything... You know, no dust, everything is fine, looks good. Wait for primer to dry, wipe it down again gently to make sure no dust is collected. Spray paint it with black. Dust everywhere. <laughs> the paint has to be full of flecks of dust because I have gotten so much of it in there. There is no way, because I checked it literally in the, like, tenth, or between, like, the tenth of a second it took me... <laughs> To look at it primered, spray it, and then pri er, put paint on it, and there was dust and hair. <laughs> so yes, I'm almost convinced Lowe's black spray paint, or like gloss black spray paint. It's full is of hair. Full. <laughs> yeah, full of hair and dust. Because like, there's no explanation for this that could be, uh, there's no way to explain how it happened. You know what you probably ended up buying instead of black spray paint? It's probably that, um, the Ronco, uh, hair in a can. Hair. Yeah. I bought flocking. <laughs> That's great. My G.I. Joes will be so happy. I've got some from the 60s and 70s that look like they are 60 or 70. <laughs> Oh god, well, I'm dead. Oh no, I'm gonna lose... What do I have that's irreplaceable? Nothing. We've got, like, 40... Oh yeah, I'm back here, and then I'm gonna teleport into the fuck pit. Ow. I'm in the fuck pit. I'm on the wrong side of the fuck pit. Ah, alright. No, stay up there, zombie. All right, well, I'm alive. Yeah, I told you there was an escape chute. There is. It was just on the opposite side of where I came out. Well, I couldn't put the escape chute on the other side because that's where the carrots are. Fair enough. Not my fault you and built now... the farm there. Well, that's true. Ah. Anyway, I kept the zombies <laughs> distracted long enough for you to get out. I appreciate that. No, but yes, I can only assume that Lowe's, or whatever, you know, factory it is in China that makes Lowe's spray paint only employs cats. <laughs> and people with dandruff. People with extreme dandruff. Cats can have dandruff. Well, yes. But I don't think this is even, this is, well, this isn't like the level of like five or six cats dandruff. This is several hundred people all trying to be scruffy at the same time. Maybe they think it gives the... Maybe it gives the paint texture. <laughs> it was just... You know, I, I don't think I'll buy that again. Because, seriously, fuck them. But, you know, for 99 cents, it was worth a shot, at least. Alright, so... I don't know how many diamonds I actually need. Let me see, I need another pick, I need a sword, and I need a shovel. I've murdered a lot of beef. 
these beefs are tender. I feel satisfied. Murdering beef is very pleasant. Especially if you eat it afterward. Oh, yeah. I, I said there's nothing quite as impressive as watching my friend turn from really kind of mild manner into a psychopathic goat murderer. Because <laughs> apparently goats are assholes. I they mean, like, can be, yeah. Well, it's like he said, you know, you always think, yeah, you know, as he said, I thought, man, maybe goats get a really shitty rap just because of the whole, you know, Bible thing, goats represent the devil, blah, 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 blah. Like, so, you know, maybe they're not bad when you get down to it. And then he owned, like, three at once, and he was like, if I could get a job just slitting their throats, I would. <laughs> He's like, it doesn't have to do anything else. I don't get to, oh yeah, I wouldn't have to get to eat the meat. I wouldn't care. If I could just get a job murdering goats, I'd take it. I'd take it right away. Like he mentioned, the most satisfying part for him was, well, the worst goat and most satisfying moment he has ever had with a goat before were within a, like 30 seconds of each other. Because he was doing something like cleaning up their shit in the backyard. And one of the goats had a random goat moment of, I'm going to attack him. Uh -huh. Or I'm going to headbutt him as hard as I can. And it headbutted him as hard as he could in the face. Oh, well. And its horn went, actually went, pierced his cheek. Uh-huh. Same thing happened to my sister. So my friend gets up. And the first thing he does is, you know, ch start chasing after the goat. And the goat goes, I will now run into the horse's pen because it will totally protect me. <laughs> and instead what happened was it spooked the horse. Right. The horse kicked and all of a sudden he watched the goat fly through the air about 30 feet. And hit the ground, lay there for like 30 seconds. And then, you know, freak out and take off. Yeah. So it was, you know, the simultaneous moments of, I hate this creature, and I love this other creature. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, then there was the time he powerbombed the goat. <laughs> An axe, that's what I mean. Oh, I'll use a pick. But yeah, the goat actually attacked him and put a hole in his leg. Ugh. Because no matter what they do, the goat apparently would... Well, the goat... no. If they kept it away, or like locked up, it would shriek <coughs> constantly until you let it out. So they couldn't keep it locked up. And it had been an entire night of listening to the goat, sh goat shriek. Mm -hmm. And then the thing puts a hole in its leg, and he just goes, no. Fuck this. Grabs the goat, jumps into the air, power bombs it. <laughs> yeah, like, slams it head first into the concrete, and his first thought apparently was, man, are we going to have to eat this thing today? <laughs> because it wasn't moving, and he's like, I just killed it, we're gonna have to butcher it now, this sucks. But then apparently it got up, freaked out, and would never approach him again. Which is reasonable yeah. at that point. I mean, when someone, uh, well, I mean, all goats are assholes anyway, but, but when someone power bombs you, it's best to be weary around them, or wary around them. I would say. Yeah, but he was just, apparently now he has told people around him who, out in the middle of nowhere, actually raise goats, if you ever need any of your goats murdered, call me. <laughs> I will do it for free. <laughs> And he actually has. They've called him and gone, we need help. We are getting ready for barbecue. We're going to kill this goat. Do you want to do it? No. Yes. <laughs> like I said, this is funny because normally he can talk a good game, but he's very mild-mannered. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a, all right, goat's turn.